Okay, so now we're going to get a little bit more into use of recursion inside of list. And we have some of our previous examples here. What I want to do now is work with this tell that we've created. All right, so for that, I am going to create H2 and T2. Remember, I can't use the same variable names again. And here I'm going to do T. So imagine what this is going to do. If we look at what T is, it's ABC. Now, we've already used this kind of tuple result to get a head and a tail. So what we're expecting is A goes into H2 and the tail BC goes into T2. And there we are. So now if I look at what is H2, it's A as expected. And what is T2? It's BC. So we do have some recursion going on in this case. And right now we have, let's see, H2 is just the A. We can further break down this T2. So if we want to keep working with this, we can do this H3, T3, and now T2. All right, so what is H3? B. And then we would expect T3 just to be C. And it is. All right, so that is just kind of continually breaking this down as far as we can go using this function right here, this functionality, and getting this tuple result. So now we're going to look at building lists using some recursion. So let's start with a simple list with pipes. What is that going to do? Create this. So we get the syntax error. We're a little off here, but not far. So I'm going to start back with what we just had. And in this case, I'm going to add a list. So after this pipe, I'm going to do two, three, and close our second bracket. So now we have put the two and the three inside of brackets, creating this list. We also have our pipe in there. So what will happen here? So I hit this. We get this list here, this one, comma, two, three. So what is the head of this thing? Let's bring back our function here. And what we're going to do, we don't have a variable for this list we just created. So we just have to put that exact list into our head function. So rather than the result, what we're going to do is put the list in there that we were working with. So we'll have our two pipe three. And we don't want a brace. We want colon. Or we want a bracket here. And we need one more bracket. Period. All right. What we get is the one. So what is the tail in this case? Let's go back and look at that. Actually, it's just up arrow. And go ahead with the tail. Two, three. So let's try a similar kind of list. We're going to put back our... Second list after the pipe here, close that terminator. But where we're going to work with our two and three, we're going to do a comma and enter. So now we get just a straight list and we can continue working with that. So what if we want to make a bigger list from this? So here I'm going to do one pipe. So right here, we're going to do another list. I'm going to go ahead and close that and terminate it. And that way I'm kind of keeping everything paired, what I want now is a two comma. So here we have a list and a list. And next what we're going to do is another list. So I'm just going to open and close my braces for that and do three comma four. And result is this one, two, three, followed by a list. So you have a list and then in the list, you have a list. So what if we don't want a list? What if we just want a, sh what if we don't want a list in a list? We just want to use something like that, but just have one list. All right, let's look at that. I'm going to put my terminator there. So I'll have one pipe. I'll have a list. And in here, I'll have two, not a comma, but a pipe this time. I'll have another list. My three and four will go in here. And I'm not going to change anything there. Then we get this result here. 
So some subtle differences here with creating lists inside of lists versus just creating single lists. And this one, two, three, of course, if we weren't in this situation with the pipes, then you can definitely create the one, two, three, four like this. But it just depends on where you're at with processing things. You may be in a situation where you're getting involved with this recursion. Remember, this is just a straight list. Nothing special going on. This is recursive. This is, has list inside of list inside of list. And then we're seeing the different end results depending on how these pipes and these commas are used. You may have the end result be a list. You may have the end result be a list in a list. Or it can keep going a list in a list in a list. And it can be very recursive in that way. So that is a look at lists, some manipulations on lists. Next, we're going to look at list comprehensions, which are adding a lot more functionality to our list. And we get more into how the set operations work with list in Erlang.